I made a video a couple of days ago about the effectiveness of shelter belt. <laughs> about how effective these were with wind from the other side coming in. And I wasn't getting any wind at all. Today we're up to about 55, 60 miles an hour in gusts. It's probably about 50 just now. Which is, you know, quite windy when you're not expecting it. But um, this is our most advanced shelter belt. Unfortunately, <laughs> the winds are coming from that direction. And we've had an issue or two. I'll show you. So last night the winds hit about 70 from behind the camera and while we got a certain amount of protection from the other side with the you know shelter belts being a bit more developed we didn't have any from this direction they're not big enough yet and this is what's left of our duck hunt you see it looks worse from the other side actually it's mostly still intact so i'll better salvage most of the materials but there's just yeah it's a strong building it doesn't matter when you're talking about you know conditions that sort of weather there's not much going to stop it. It was torrential rain and massive, massive amounts of uh, wind. So the ducks are all fine. They're all cool. You can see two of them are out. The others are still in the hut. Hello. One of the ducks was actually buried alive in bedding until I got to it this morning. Um, so we've got a bit of a plan for it. We're going to keep them in the hut as it is, effectively, for the next day or so. While I strip everything around it. Then I'll rebuild the hut with a lower profile and so on. But really, a lot of it is just trusting to luck that we don't have too many more storms like this um, until we get the shelter belts up and a bit more developed. Because we've got I mean, massive shelter belt right across the entire eastern perimeter. It's one of the things we're more pretty susceptible to eastern winds. Um, we're going to take care of it. But this is the reality of it, you know. Um, this isn't Instagram. We're showing things exactly as they are. And yeah, this is what happens when you're trying to establish a system like this on a very exposed windy hillside. I mean, if you look off in that direction, there's not much to break the wind. You know, not much by wave trees. It's, uh, yeah, that's Caithness.